Previously, we talked about external and internal links. External links being links that point to external web pages, and internal links being links that point to internal pages that we have here. Anchor links, however, are a way of linking to a particular part on a page. Typically, you'll see these on longer documents, and they are a way to jump to specific parts without having to scroll all the way down or hunt and find what you're looking for. To get a better understanding of what anchor links do, let's create a table of contents. The first thing I recommend is going to a lorem ipsum generator so we don't have to type out a bunch of example text. I'll put the link in the description to this website. This site lets you generate an arbitrary number of paragraphs and then copy them. So I'm going to create five paragraphs and then copy them using this button. I'm going to get rid of our previous links to images here and just paste the paragraphs in with Command V. Again, Control V on PC. And what I'll do is wrap each of these in a paragraph tag. Oops. Got to make sure your tag is complete. Okay. Now that we've wrapped everything in paragraph tags, let's give each section a header. Example one, ooh, actually, H1 is the home tag up here, the most important tag. So down here, let's use H2 tags. Example two, example three, Example four and example five. Now let's save this and see what it looks like just to get a sense of what we'll be doing. Hmm, this might be a little short for what we're trying to do. So I think what I'll do is add another paragraph to each one. Let me just copy this. It's okay if I use the same paragraph, actually. Okay, so I'm just giving each section two paragraphs. There, that's a little better. Now, typically this will be a, more of a problem on longer pages, so I'm gonna shrink this browser down. And the idea is that we link to each header section. You can link to any point on a page, but in this example, we're just gonna try and link to each header section so that we can jump down to them. So the way we do that is by linking the same way you would on another page, but the way you link is using another anchor tag, but this time instead of href, we use an ID. And we don't give it any inner text. And you can actually put this inside of your h2 tag or right above it and that's just fine. It just needs to know where it should go on the page. So let's do this for each example. And just to show that it doesn't really matter where you put this, as long as it's in the general area of where you're linking, I'll put this inside the H2 tag. And now I'm gonna create another list just like this one, except I'm going to create anchor links to each section down here. So instead of using just the file name, the way you indicate that you want to link to an anchor tag on the page is by using the hashtag or pound sign and you type in the name of the ID. So I'll do this for each one we have. Oops. A 
just say example one, example two, two, three. Copy this two more times. Four, four, five, and five. Now let's save this and see how it looks. So now we have another list of links. And note that you don't see any of this showing up on the page. But if we do hover over this, you'll note that down in the bottom, you will see the hashtag and the ID that we're linking to. Let's try jumping to these. Example one takes us directly to example one. Example two takes us directly to example two and so on and so forth all the way down the page. Another thing you can do is link to an anchor tag on one page from another page. Let's link to example four on our index from our about HTML. So let's copy this over. Um, let's actually make a paragraph and just say, click here to go to example four. So let's give that a link and let's send them to index.html. But this time we're going to use our anchor tag ID. And let's wrap that just like any other link and let's hit save. Refresh. Okay. So now let's go to about. Let's cl click on example four. Takes us directly there. And that's about all you need to know about anchor tags.